So we're going to begin our soda can project right here inside Photoshop by going to the File menu, then go to New to create a brand new document. Over on the right side, let's go ahead and give it a name, and we'll just call this Soda Project 1. And I'm going to set the width to 2,000 pixels and the height to 1,200 pixels, giving us a horizontal format. Then go ahead and click Create. Now the soda can that we're going to be using in this project is actually built into the 3D features here inside Photoshop. So just go over to your Layers panel and go ahead and create a new blank layer by clicking the New Layer icon here at the bottom of the Layers panel. Once a new layer is created, go to the 3D menu, go down here to New Mesh from Layer, and then go to Mesh Preset. Here you'll see a variety of primitive shapes available, and the one we want in this case is soda. Now once you go ahead and select that, it's going to go ahead and place the 3D item into your canvas and also convert that new layer into a 3D layer as you can see right here. Now looking at the image, we can see that there is a ground plane that is indicated by the grid lines here that the, that the soda can is sitting on. Now what I want to do is actually turn off the default shadow that is being created by this can that you can see just, just barely under the edges here. In fact, to get a better view of it, let's change our angle of view by changing the camera angle. Go into the Window menu, go to the 3D, choose 3D to open up the 3D panel. Also go to the Window menu and choose Properties to open up the Properties panel. These two you need to have open when you're editing 3D here inside Photoshop. So we're going to go into 3D panel here and click on Current View so that we can edit our angle of view on the object. Once you have that selected, go up to the Options bar, and you'll notice that you've got the 3D tools up here that allow you to manipulate both the 3D cameras and 3D objects. I've got the very first tool selected here, which is the 3D Orbit tool. And I'm just going to click right on the canvas area just outside the area of the can, and then click and drag to change my angle of view. And as I do that, you can see that now I can see the ground plane shadow a lot better. In this particular project, I'm not going to be needing that ground plane shadow, so we're going to go ahead and turn that off. So to do that, you're going to go into your 3D panel once again, go ahead and click on Environment, and then over in the Properties panel, you're going to see down here in the middle the ground plane settings. Right over here, you've got the shadow setting at 60% by default. Just highlight that and set that to zero and press Enter. Now you can see the shadow has disappeared. Now I want to reset my angle of view there. We moved it around so that we could adjust that shadow. Now I'm going to go ahead and reposition it by reselecting current view. And then over in the properties panel, I'm going to click on this view menu here and go ahead and select default. And that's going to bring it back to the front view. Now since we got rid of the ground plane shadow, we no longer need this grid for the ground plane as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off by going to the view menu and go down here to show and to simply uncheck 3D ground plane. And now we're ready to go ahead and start building the label art, which we're going to start doing in the next clip.